Hey guys and welcome to the final episode of Road to Ruby. So for this episode I have to say that I was just trading and trading and I wasn't able to keep track of my profit but I can say that I made around 150 keys profit in total for this episode and in the end of it it was enough to get my absolute dream knife the M9 Ruby and so on I'm simply going to sum up the trades I did and without further talking let's get started. In the last episode we left off with this trade where I downgraded my M9 Gamma Doppler Phase 4 and after that trade I sold anything on OP skins for a really decent price and I also sold my Karambit Fire and Ice here for around 380 keys in value and that was a really decent price that I would not have gotten on Reddit. And as you can see I also sold my keys on OP skins for $2.40 each and that's a really decent price for them and I don't know why they were so expensive but I wanted to make profit out of this because I simply sold all my keys, bought new knives, sold them on Reddit and uh, sold those keys again and so on I made profit in my balance. Okay so here you can see how it looks in my trade history. I sold all the keys I had in my inventory to OP skins and then I bought myself a new M9 Gamma Doppler phase 4 again and I downgraded it for pure keys and a flip knife lore in few tested and then I sold all the keys again and the flip knife lore on OP skins, get myself some profit and I bought myself a new skin which was this time a, a phase 2 Gamma Doppler and I also sold this one for pure keys and again I sold anything on OP skins. And here you can see that I also bought myself an M9 Gamma Doppler Phase 4 again and a Bayonet Gamma Doppler Phase 2. And those were the last knives I got from this technique because the key price dropped again. And so on I made like 5 to 10 keys profit with each and every uh, knife I bought. And when the key price dropped again I simply cashed out my balance with some keys and a flip knife ruby. And from then on I kept on with downgrading again. So from here on I have no clue how much profit I made with every trade. But I'm pretty sure that I made profit with every single one of them. For example I simply downgraded all my stuff. Flip knife ruby to a butterfly tiger tooth. A bayonet full fate and some skins. The a butterfly tiger tooth to a crambit tiger tooth and some keys. The crambit tiger tooth for pure keys. And it kept going with me buying another flip knife ruby. And I also sold the M9 slaughter I got. So yeah there are simply so many items and knives I got. I couldn't keep track of how much profit I made. And let's simply have a quick look at uh, every single one of those trades. So here you can see M9 Doppler Phase 2 I bought on Reddit. Uh, downgraded it to a Bayonet Full Fate and some skins. I sold uh, my Flip Knife Ruby for pure keys and a USP kill confirmed. Uh, I sold some stuff on OP skins to buy new keys. And it just keeps going. I bought some keys from those items. Bought myself a Kramber Doppler Phase 2 and an M9 Doppler Phase 4. Sold the M9 Doppler for pure keys again, for profit, bought myself a Bayonet Doppler Phase 1, downgraded my Karambit Doppler Phase 2 to a normal Karambit Doppler Phase 1 and a lot of skins. Alright, had to take a quick breath but let's keep going. Bayonet Doppler Phase 1 in a downgrade for two knives and some skins. Sold some skins on a trade board for pure keys. Uh, sold the Bowie Knight for pure keys on Reddit, bought myself an M9 Doppler Phase 2 on Reddit. So the dust 2 pin I got, I uh, got myself a downgrade for the Krambit Doppler phase 1 and I got myself a Krambit Crimson Web and some skins. I got myself an M9 Gamma Doppler for my M9 lore and some keys. I saw the Orb Lightning Strike for pure keys. Got myself a trade for the Bayonet Full Fade which was a Flip Knife Doppler phase 4 and some skins. Uh, I saw the Guardian Elite pin. Uh, I sold all the stuff that I had left in my inventory for pure keys on a trade board. And here I sold my M9 Gamma Doppler for the whole inventory of somebody and that was really profitable because I sold anything on a trade board, also the knife which was a flip knife Gamma Doppler phase 2 and in the end I got like 15 keys profit from the whole inventory and that's really good for some random stuff like that. And let's see, I so yeah, I also sold some skins for pure keys, uh, sold the flip knife Doppler phase 4 for some pure keys, got myself a Krambit Doppler phase 2 again downgraded my M9 Doppler for a Krambit Crimson Web and an AK Vulcan. I bought myself a Phase 1 Doppler for a decent price. Uh, I traded my Krambit Crimson Web for some Specialist Gloves Foundation, sold those uh, gloves for pure keys. I also traded my normal Phase 1 Doppler for another Krambit Crimson Web with a decent float, so I had many of those in my inventory. And I also got a deal for my Bayonet Full Fade, the second one, 
which was a Kremit Knight minimal wear and some stuff, bought myself another Phase 4 M9 Doppler on Reddit, directly sold it for profit again. And I also sold the Bayonet Ultraviolet, which I got from very far away. And I sold it for pure keys, sold the Karambit Knight for pure keys, and actually uh, an AK Blue Laminate as it seems. Sold the Karambit Doppler for pure keys, and bought myself another Karambit Doppler Phase 2, and another one. So I had many of those also in my inventory. And I also bought myself an M9 Rubble Fade Factory New. Then traded one of those Phase 2 Dopplers for a Karambit Doppler Phase 4 and some skins. Uh, I traded my M9 Marble Fade and some skins for a Kremlin Marble Fade with a decent float and corner. And I also sold another Phase 2 Kremlin Doppler for a Kremlin Damascus Steel, Minimal Wear and a lot of skins. And that is actually the last trade. Alright guys, I'm sorry if that was a little bit quick, but it would take for ages to go for every single trade in specific. In all those trades I made, uh, with the OP skin stuff included, I made like 150 keys profit. So I was at like 750 keys in skins and from then on I started looking for an M9 Ruby. Alright and here you can see all the stuff I had in my inventory for trading and that I wanted to trade for the M9 Ruby. And let's start with those two Kramit Crimson webs field tested, both with a decent float. I had a Kramit Damascus Steel, Minimal Wear, a Stat Track, M4 Hyper Beast, Minimal Wear, a Stat Track of SMR field tested, an M4 Icarus Valve Factory New, a Kramit Marble Fade, Factory new with a decent float and corner, a Krambit Doppler Phase 4, an M4 The Battlestar, Minimal Wear, a Glock Water Elemental, Stat Track, Minimal Wear, and two USP Kill Confirms, one in Minimal Wear and one in Field Tested, and I wanted to trade for an M9 Ruby with a 0.02 float. Okay, and before we come to the final scene of this series, I want to thank you all for your great support uh, throughout every single episode of this series. I had a great time making those videos and also reading your comments and yeah, I want to thank you very much for following me on my road to Ruby and here we go. Hey guys, welcome to a new video and as I promised, here's the new trading series. I called it Road to Ruby because the Ruby is my absolute dream knife and I'm very hyped for the new strategy. Yep, here we are, and as you can see I got a balance of 827.6 dollars here, which is insane because I think we started with 770-ish. Of buying them for cheap, beautiful skins and sell them for a good price. And here you can see my newest beauty, which I bought yesterday for 40 dollars, and yeah, as you can see, Really nice skin. And that means that we're gonna have, if it goes through, a key value of 390 plus keys. And that's fucking insane because it's more than 150 keys more. From the Bayonet Sapphire, I got myself 81 keys. 81 keys in profit, so this is the most profit I've ever made out of one single item, and yeah, it's just insane. 